<laughs> is it time for recess yet? I'm so glad you found time to join us here on the Child Care Director's Chair, where Erica Sacoccio shares her best practices that she's refined through her passion of directing child care centers over the last 23 years. From parenting interaction, systems to save you time, money, and stress, to profitability. She shares it all from the Child Care Director's Chair. Hello and welcome back to another episode of the Child Care Director's Chair. And as a child care director, you have one of the most demanding and rewarding jobs out there. You're responsible for the well-being and development of numerous children, as well as managing a team of dedicated staff members. With so much on your plate, it is crucial to have effective time management strategies in place to ensure you can handle everything effectively and efficiently. Here are 15 time management tips specifically tailored for child care directors. The first is prioritize your task. Start each day by identifying the most important tasks that need to be accomplished. Focus on completing those first before moving on to less urgent matters. The second is creating a schedule. Develop a daily, weekly, and monthly schedule that outlines your regular tasks and responsibilities. And stick to the schedule as much as possible to maintain consistency and to avoid last minute surprises. Third is you wanna delegate responsibilities. Don't be afraid to delegate tasks to your team members. Effective delegation not only lightens your workload, but also helps develop your staff's skills and confidence. And honestly, they want to be part of the bigger picture. Next, you need to set realistic goals. Break down larger projects into smaller projects. Manageable tasks with specific deadlines. This will help you stay on track and prevent overwhelming yourself. Now, I, like most people, do multitask. But really, to really focus in on what you're supposed to do, you want to avoid multitasking. Contrary to the popular belief, multitasking often leads to decreased productivity and increased errors. Instead, focus on one task at a time and give it your full attention. Minimize distractions. Identify and eliminate any distractions that hinder your productivity. And this could include turning off notifications on your phone and finding a quiet space to work a clean desk that is organized, things that are not gonna get in your way and help you focus. Take regular breaks. Schedule short breaks throughout the day to recharge, and this will help you prevent burnout. Take this time to stretch or meditate or engage in activities that help you relax and focus. Your body and your brain will thank you for it. Utilize technology as much as you can and take advantage of the technology tools and software that you can use to streamline your administrative tasks, such as scheduling, communication, record keeping, parent uh, updates, all those things. Whatever you have in place that can help automate some of your process, use that. Communicate effectively. Establish clear communication channels with your team, your parents, and other stakeholders. This will really help minimize misunderstandings and ensure that everyone is on the same page. And then again, remember going back to reducing distractions. Really let your team know how you want to communicate with them. Ask them to maybe, if it's not a 911, write all their questions down all the things they need um, from you, and then to see you once at the end of the day instead of constant coming in, asking one more question, one more question, unless it's a 911. And it's okay to learn to say no. It's important to set boundaries and learn to say no when necessary. Taking on too much can lead to stress and compromise the quality of your work. Staying organized, this is a big one. Keeping your workspace clean and clutter-free. Using digital or physical tools like a calendar, to-do list, or filing systems to help you stay organized and are easily 
able to be located where your important information is uh, really will serve you well. Investing in professional development, continually seeking opportunities to enhance your skills and knowledge in childcare management. Attend those conferences and workshops and webinars and stay up to date with the latest trends, best practices, and what you need to know when running a successful childcare business. Maybe even consider working with a consultant. Practice self-care techniques. Take care of your physical and mental well-being. Make sure that you get enough sleep, that you're eating a balanced diet that doesn't include animal crackers for lunch. Make sure you rec- uh, sorry, make sure you exercise regularly and engage in activities that you enjoy outside of work because it's really important not to just to live for work. Learn from your mistakes. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. And when you do, take it as a learning opportunity. Reflect on what went wrong and identify the ways to improve your processes in decision making. And lastly, as I always say, leave on a positive note. Celebrate your achievements. Take the time to celebrate your accomplishments, both big and small. Recognize and appreciate the hard work that you and your team put into creating a nurturing and educational environment for the children in your care. I promise you by implementing just a few of these time management tips, you will become more effective and efficient child care director. By managing your time wisely, you can create a positive and enriching experience for both you and your team and the children you serve, and you will be much more happy. Hope that you had a great time on the Child Care Director's Chair. We want to hear from you. Well, all the cute little kiddos have been picked up and it's time to go home. And that'll do it for another episode of the Child Care Director's Chair. Please leave a review so Erica knows the information is helping you to manage and improve your child care centers. Remember to subscribe to get the latest episode from Erica's Child Care Director's Chair. <laughs>